Well, a tremendous show of support tonight for a local Marine who died in the airport bombing in Kabul, Afghanistan. Thousands lined the streets and packed overpasses. And even stopped on the sides of the 210 freeway to honor 20-year-old Lance Corporal Dylan Marola as the hearse drove his body from Ontario Airport to his hometown in Rancho Cucamonga and onto a funeral home in Covina. Mm -hmm. Many people waved American flags during the procession as a tribute to the sacrifice the young Marine made. KKL 9's Nicole Comstock is live in Rancho Cucamonga with more. Nicole? Susie and Jeff, it was truly incredible to see how many people turned out for this fallen Marine tonight who so many people were so proud of, but no one was more proud than his family. They showed up by the thousands, covering dozens of freeway overpasses and city sidewalks on the 27 mile procession route from the Ontario airport to Los Osos High School in Rancho Cucamonga, and finally to Forest Lawn in Covina to honor the life and ultimate sacrifice of fallen Marine Lance Corporal Dylan Marola. It was remarkable. Samuel Johnson says it meant the world to his family. Me and my cousin will we'll meet again one day. Dylan Marola was his younger cousin. The two grew up together here in Rancho Cucamonga, where Dylan was a beloved student in theater tech. But his cousin says becoming a Marine was Dylan's dream come true. He grew up to actually be a, a strong individual, and I can't be any more proud of him. The 20 year old was one of 13 U.S. service members killed in the Kabul airport bombing last month as American troops withdrew from Afghanistan. It's tough for the guys that have been there many times and see what's happened in the last month. Ken Kramer's son in law is a Marine staff sergeant and he trained two of the 13 young service members who perished. And I hope the families know, all 13, that. We all support them. We're behind them 100%. This is American pride. This is a message to those men and women who risked their lives to serve our country, that what they gave up has opened their eyes. Freedom isn't free, and we now know, and that's why we're all here today. Dylan, we love you. We miss you. Thank you for your service, and a salute to you. And Dylan Marola's funeral service will be held at Forest Lawn in Covina on Sunday at 2.30. It is open to the public, and based on what we saw out here tonight, there will be many, many people there. Reporting live in Rancho Cucamonga, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News. Right, Nicole, thank you so much.